It's time to live our lives vicariously through an app. A life simulator app. I've done this before with BitLife. I think last time I played that, I did the pregnancy challenge. Just got so many hoes pregnant. Anyways, now I found 100 years life simulator and I knew I had to play it because of this preview. It shows some guy with his girlfriend. She has such small shorts on. A guy with a beard and mustache tells her to go in his Lambo. He chases and falls. I had to download it after seeing that. Are you kidding me? Don't bother zero stars. Don't listen to the haters is my advice. It's called 100 years. I think the point of the game is to see how many years you get before dying. So let's see if we can make the right decisions. I'm gonna make it to 100 years. Like I'm assuming Assuming in that preview, that guy chasing after the Lambo, that probably killed him with that fall. I won't chase my girl if she goes into some bearded, mustached guy's Lambo. Bye! I'll find another chick. You're gay! I love how the app starts with just two swimming sperms. You know a game is good when the first action is touching jizz. Oh, swim away! Oh! It's going into an egg, I think. What is your name? Oh, I was gonna write Timothy Chalamet, but... I guess we can only write Timothy C. Okay, perfect, that's fine. That works. Well, we made it to one year old. 99 more to go, bitch. Yay, mom and dad. I have to pick my mom or dad? If I make the wrong decision, I'm gonna die? Guess I'll go with my dad. He better not drop me. If I die, is he breastfeeding me? You guys, what? So I already died, I think. I already failed, huh? Timothy Chalamet straight up just got breastfed by his dad. We know to pick the mom now at least. Now mom is breastfeeding Timothy Chalamet. Why are there so many obstacles in my playroom? Like this playroom is haunted. Why are toys just mysteriously bouncing around? Get an exorcism in here. Oh, it gave me a present, but the present is I can pay money. Sis, no, you tried it. These apps are trying to scam and you gotta respect it. Like straight up showing a present. Oh my gosh, what gift did I get? You can give us $3. Manipulation at its final. It almost worked. I almost paid. We're now 10 years old, bitch. I'm at church. Wait, I can either pick world peace or say God doesn't exist. Which one is gonna kill Timothy Chalamet? We gotta keep him alive. I'm gonna go with world peace. I feel like if I say God doesn't exist, I don't know what will happen, but I'm, let's say world peace. Hallelujah. I just got bullied at school. You guys, I kind of want to fight this guy. He was straight up doing like a ballerina turn and then tripped me. Should I fight him? I know the whole point is to keep Timothy Chalamet alive, but sometimes you gotta stand up for yourself. Oh, great. Everyone's formed around us. Sorry, Timothy. We didn't win the fight. Next time we're just gonna turn the other cheek, you know? When they go low, we go high. I'm gonna keep on walking. He's still trying to beat me up. Oh my God. What? So I guess I have to fight. That's the only option. Oh, one punch knockout. Take that. Go Timothy Chalamet. Sweet 16. We made it to 16 years old. Why are people jumping off a cliff? My friend group is literally just jumping off a cliff. Timothy got in with the wrong crowd. I'm not jumping when you lose your friend group because they all decide to jump off a cliff. Oh, they're actually having a lot of fun. Great, we missed out, but whatever, that's fine. Better safe than sorry. My, the emo swoop? I'm loving our, how our style is evolving. We are now an emo 20 year old, ready to take on the world. Look at all these different paths we could go. I'm, I'm pretty sure depending on what decision I make, it brings us on a different path, which makes our lifespan longer or shorter. So we, we gotta start, we gotta start really thinking critically about these decisions. Okay, we're on the iPad. Oh, we're on Tinder. Okay, I see three people back. It's a literal gorilla. Do I wanna date a gorilla? Should he? Like, would that make his life go longer? No, the gorilla would just kill him. He'd be dead at 20, so. You know, I'm not feeling this girl. Sorry, Michelle. No, I, I can't date an animal. That's wrong on a lot of levels. Nope. There's a gay option. Okay, we're, we'll be gay. Timothy is gonna date Bob. Are you sure? Yes. It's like, are you sure you wanna become homosexual? Yep. We're going down the gay path. <laughs> Bob wants us to buy him a ring already? I just don't know if I'm ready to spend 20 bands, 20 racks on Bob. Sorry, we're getting you the $100 one. We aren't that serious yet. Yeah, it wasn't meant to be. Bye, Bob. He was a gold digger. Okay, I guess I messaged him. Hey, do you wanna hang out? He said no. He's just not replying to me now, all because I didn't spend $20,000 on him. Gosh, he really showed who he is. I'll ask him what's up. Talk to me, please. Get lost. <gasps> Timothy, you didn't have to break the cell phone. What's that gonna solve? Wait, I can jump? This game is dark. You're gonna make up with him. Yeah, that, that cell phone wasn't up to your ear, but pop off. Can't believe we're still with Bob. Oh, 
This is the preview. Of course he's gonna go in the Lambo. And I fall just like the preview. You know what we're not gonna do? We are not gonna cry. We're gonna find a job. Bob can get lost. God, F Bob. The second someone pulls up in a Lambo, he's just like, all right, see ya. Nice to know ya. See ya never. Like, what an ass. Can you imagine if you actually been dating someone for three years and you thought it was going kind of okay and then someone pulls up in a Lambo and they just decide to leave you right there? You know what? Good riddance. Bob is a slob and I'm gonna go get a job. Yes, that just came out. It just came out naturally. Him a manager, all right. I'm holding coffee a really weird way, but that's fine. No judgment. Oh, she didn't like the coffee. Sorry, boss. I guess we're not the manager. We're actually the manager's assistant. One of the options is to punch her. We are not gonna choose violence. We're gonna clean up the spilt coffee. We're gonna pay our dues and eventually we'll be the CEO. Wait, is she gonna step on us? Whatever, at least we survived and we didn't punch a woman. That's never the right choice. These are the two cars we get to pick from. Okay, we'll go with the slightly cheaper option. It's still sick. Might even be sicker in my opinion. All right, who knew being an assistant paid so much? We are living a life of luxury over here and we're now 30. Oh, there's Bob his the mustache man oh now he wants to get with us oh no revenge karma oh god fuck bob fuck bob honestly hope he dies in the nicest way possible my car has been graffitied obviously bob did it whatever we'll clean this god bob is such a hater like sorry i don't want to get with you you had your chance hey you get over here oh it's our boss my coffee machine at home stopped working could you come over later and fix it for me wait is she trying to hook up am i gonna have to decide if i'm gonna hook up with my boss or not okay we're at her house time to fix her coffee machine i guess okay i fixed it now I went up to her bedroom. Okay, all finished. Oh my, I predicted it right. I'm pretty sure she's not wearing pants. Would you mind giving me a leg massage? This is getting a little bit problematic. She's my boss. Sure thing, boss. Oh my gosh, you have to pay to hook up with her. Okay, this app. I'm not gonna pay to see Timothy and his boss hook up. Sorry. You're fired? Okay, well, you're getting sued. I'm taking you to court. We're going on the path where you don't hook up with your boss. All right, new job. Are you kidding me? Okay, I was begging for money. Now the police are here? Sir, it is illegal to be homeless. You're under arrest? The only way to fight back is pay. So I guess I have to get arrested. Am I just in prison now? Oh no, I'm paying now. Next time they give me an option to pay, I'm paying. Can we need to get an option to break out of jail? I don't care. I'm gonna pay 20 bucks of my real money to get out of this fake jail. I don't care. Gosh, if only I would have hooked up with my boss, then I wouldn't be in this situation. Oh my God, the old like pastor or whatever is there. I guess I'll help him. <gasps> you guys, by helping the pastor, I now have a screwdriver. I'm gonna be able to break out of prison. You are picking the lock. Oh, uh, hell yeah. Yes, bitch. Oh, we're out. Come on, Timothy. Oh, we're going in the sewer. We're out of prison. Yes. But now we're stuck in a sewer. And now we're in a desert and we're all alone. Gosh, I kind of miss Bob. Like as, as toxic as he was, like at least he was someone to hang out with. And I'm just alone. <gasps> I found a campground though. Timothy has made it to 40 years old. I'm doing good. Like I did not expect to make it this long, but you know, I'm just making the right decisions. We're now living in the wilderness with these people. Love it. I still have the emo hair. Driving. Am I gonna break into this house? Oh, it's haunted. Oh, it's my parents. Oh my God, this is emotional. Oh, I went back to my family's home and my parents are just dead. Oh no. I can either run away or go inside. I'm just gonna run away because I know if I go inside, I'll be trespassing and then I'll go to prison again. Wow, poor Timothy. I like how he goes from crying to just being like, whoa, anyway. He, he recovers quick. Gotta love Timothy. Oh my God, comedians needed? Okay. I'm now a stand-up comedian. Okay. What did one boob say to the other boob? Timothy, like, is that really the first joke? Whatever. The options are, how are you? Or you're my breast friend. I feel like the breast friend. I'll get a laugh. Oh, the crowd loves it. Okay, I'm the next Ella DeGeneres. Give me my own show. Pop off, Timothy. Okay, we're now 47 and we're still doing stand-up. And the audience is bigger. Give us a net. Netflix special. Why do cemeteries have fences? People are dying to get in to protect from the grave robbers. <laughs> People are dying to get in. Timothy is hilarious. He's taking the world by storm. Are we on a private jet now? He can either say, give me that bottle or can I have a glass please? We're still gonna be polite. We're gonna say please. Look at him living the life with his gold chains. We are literally Kevin Hart now. We're in an arena. Where's Bob now? Where? Where's Bob? Nowhere. Probably dead. Hopefully. What do you call a sad strawberry? Oh, a blueberry, I get it. I I, did, I wasn't getting it for a while, but yeah, a blueberry because they're blue, sad. <laughs> I like how there's a literal arena of people to buy tickets to listen to these jokes. But you know, he found his audience. Oh, we're on a plane. Is it gonna, is it gonna crash? This can't be the end. Are you kidding me? We're dead. I'm jumping off the plane. Do I have a parachute? You better have a parachute. Come on. Oh, I'm, I'm still alive.
All right. Oh, now we're on a deserted island. Shit. One of my fans better find me. Wait, my parents are there? Does that mean I'm dead? What? We found some people on the island and now we're friends. Timothy always finds a way to keep it going. Okay, pop off. I'm now building a boat because I'm over island life. Oh crap, I drowned. No, I, I just got eaten by shark. What? But it keeps just letting me play again. So is there not an actual end to this? Like I can always just redo it, so. Oh wait, the only other option is to swim. Obviously I'm still gonna be eaten by a shark, right? Oh no. Oh, never mind. Oh wait, now there's a cruise ship. Yes, I'm aging again. Oh, look at the new Timothy. He's literally Mr. Clean now. Love it. What the heck? Am I always surrounded by aliens? Please let me join an alien civilization. Oh, whatever, I survived. We've made it to the 60s. How are you doing today? Am I at the doctor's? So I just went over your MRI scan and it looks like you have colon cancer? What? You have about two minutes left to live? What? Two minutes? Oh my God. What? Oh my God. What? Am I in heaven or hell? Yeah, I'm in hell. Sorry, I must have startled you. Who are you? I guess humans refer to me as God, but I'm not a big fan of labels. No way. Hey, why don't you check out this hole over here? Is God sending me to hell? God should have just pushed me into hell. Are you kidding me? I should have told the pastor or whatever that I was like all about world peace. Ugh. I died at 62. I did net worth of 53,000. I was a comedian. I wasn't happy and I wasn't that strong. And now we're just back to the sperm. Great. Well, that was deeply depressing. I had high hopes for Timothy Chalamet. He had had like a good decade where he was killing it with his career, but most of his life he was kind of miserable. He was in prison. He had a boyfriend who was just a scammer. He was lost on a deserted island. Yeah, uh, <laughs> all I gotta say is F Bob. He's the reason why this all went bad. Great, you make one wrong decision by picking Bob on Tinder, it ruins your whole life. So be careful out there guys. Well, thank you guys for coming along on this journey. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know if there's any other weird games I should play. I'm gonna go. Bye.